Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Thursday to you. We are gearing up for another warm afternoon, but first we started off with a beautiful sunrise this morning from North Salt Lake. Shout out to Abel Lish for posting this photo to Utah's Weather Authority. I mean, the sky looks like it was on fire. It is glorious. And we also woke up to some showers, so roads were a bit wet in some areas and just kind of feeling a little bit unsettled outside. It was warm. We had some sprinkles on and off during the morning time. And from the old mill camera, you can see some blue and some sunshine trying to peek through I-215 does look dry. You've got uh, downtown Salt Lake City in the distance and things look good. We'll get more sunshine this afternoon, but also pretty cloudy up at Deer Valley. You can see everything's really green and some sunshine is trying to pour down uh, over Deer Valley into the Jordanelle and the big weather story over the next couple days going into the weekend. It's all about this big boy high pressure that's building in from the southwest. This is going to warm us up like crazy this upcoming weekend. For today, though, we're still talking about that stalled out cold front that's breaking apart, but this is going to bring us the chance for some isolated thunderstorms in northern Utah and still ahead of that. It's going to be windy and hot down through southern Utah, southwest Utah, southeast Utah. And because of those winds that are going to strengthen this afternoon, that is going to lead to high fire danger. And so we do have red flag warnings in effect until 10 o'clock this evening. Winds in the southwest are coming out of the southwest 15 to 25 miles per hour, gusts up to 40 miles per hour possible. So these areas shaded in that pink, that's where that red flag warning is in effect. But even in areas like St. George, I mean, those winds are going to be picking up this afternoon. It's going to be breezy and warm. As for those isolated storms, it's going to be along that line. So along that stalled out cold front and very similar to what we saw earlier this morning. And so you can see a line of those showers developing early this morning. But the big story will be some of those pop up showers throughout our Uintas um, in the Uinta Basin. So you see that in far northeast Utah and it's going to die down tonight into tomorrow. But you can see some of those showers moving through northern Utah even into this evening by about nine o'clock. Today in Salt Lake City will reach the low 90s, so pretty similar to yesterday. Winds coming out in the northwest, 5 to 10 miles per hour, partly cloudy skies. So we'll see more sunshine. I know we were uh, kind of just covered in that, that blanket of clouds early this morning, but those will start to break apart. Low 90s all across the Wasatch Front, so another warm toasty day in store for us. Pretty close to our average though. Getting warmer in Park City, you're going to reach the low 80s. Down south, breezy and warm. We're reaching 102 in St. George. You're back to that century mark in Moab, 101, so a wee bit warmer than yesterday. Hovering in the low 90s in Wendover. And tonight, fairly mild as we drop down to 67 degrees. But this weekend, it's all about the heat, folks, so be prepared. Summer is here in full force, and you can see that. We keep warming up this weekend. 103 Saturday, 105 Sunday, but it's Tuesday and Wednesday where we climb 108 degrees. So it is going to be uh, a warm one. We're cranking up that heat. Northern Utah, with this heat, we're also going to see air quality going downhill over the next couple days, and it's warmer tomorrow. Mid-90s will stay pretty close to that into Saturday, staying dry and sunny, but we crank it up Sunday, upper 90s, back to the century mark on Tuesday, and we'll hover pretty close to that into early next week.